Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the Barakah Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Barakah Kodash. As always, double honors to our leaders, our apostles, and elders, and bishops. All right, at the Church of Great Millstone, the taught us his true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and who are ruling well. Shalom, peace and love to you prophets, are you teachers, are you men that are risking your lives to edify the elect of the nation of Israel through breaking down the scriptures the correct way to the rest of you believers that are out there, all right, and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, are to continue in faith, are to continue in belief, are to endure it to the end, all right, because the time will come that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai returns. And that's after these last and final prophecies that are set up to happen in the earth are to happen, all right, in which there's a digital infrastructure that's laid all, right, all throughout the world. All right, you have uh, many of these nations that are out there all right, that are going digital, all right, and a lot of their currencies are being backed by gold, all right, which they're setting up digital currencies that are backed by gold, such as uh, with Zimbabwe. I uh, recently did uh, to try to fix uh, the inflation that's been going on over there. All uh, right, and many other nations, you know, are following suit, and this is just the uh, the preparation uh, for the MOTB, and that's the reason why simultaneously uh, you're seeing a lot of activity in the Middle East, uh, because these last and final prophecies that are set up to happen in the Earth are uh, are you know getting ready to come to pass. All right, so stay prayed up, you know, watch as well as pray, you know, as the scriptures say within the book of Luke, all right, the 21st chapter, and we're going to hit the 35th verse going into the 36th verse. Matter of fact, let's um, start at the 33rd verse, and I'm going to read this in the NLT. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear, which means that every single prophecy and every single word that is spoken of Yahweh through his own through his prophets all right, will come to pass. All right. Every single word will come to pass. All right. Now, not one of these prophecies will fail. Watch out. Don't let your hearts be dulled by carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you unaware like a trap for that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Keep alert at all times. All right. And pray that you may be strong enough to escape these coming horrors that stand before all right, the son of man and stand before the son of man. And one of the horrors. All right, that's going to happen upon the earth is a nuclear destruction all right, by way of what is known as ICBM missiles. All right, in which you have missiles out there that are capable of uh, reaching, you know, speeds that are, uh, uh, breaks the sound barrier. All right. That's the reason why when missiles are launched, all right, if you are looking at a video you know, if one of those missiles launched, you may hear a boom, all right? That's called a sonic boom. And these missiles break the sound barrier, all right? They also are capable of carrying multiple warheads. All right, here within Google, uh, there's a question on Google, how long would it take for a missile launch from Russia to hit the U.S.? And it says 25 to 35 minutes. All right. Original questions. How long would it take for a nuclear ICBM, uh, ICBM from Russia to hit the U.S.? Depending on the, the part targeted, 25 to 35 minutes. Le uh, less for Alaska and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, more. For Florida or Georgia, assuming the ICBM only from primary Russian missile fields, 
you know, and there's other places outside of Russia, you know, that have ICBM missiles that are targeting this place as well. So it may take even less of time to come from those particular regions, you know, to this place. And that's just a fulfillment of, of prophecy, you know, showing you that these ICBM missiles are, are really, you know, created by the purpose of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, that's the reason why it says in Isaiah, the 54th chapter, in the 16th verse, it says, um, Behold, I have created the smith that blow of the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And that waster to destroy is the ICBM missiles with the, the multiple warheads in them. All right, that's the instrument for the work of the Heavenly Father. All right, it says in um, the NLT, I've created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the forge and make the weapons of destruction. And I've created the armies that destroy. You know, and these ICBM missiles are likened to an army. They're the army of the Heavenly Father. And when the time is ready, all right, when the time is ripe, these are going to be shot, you know, from countries such as Russia, according to biblical prophecy. And they will come over here to this place, which is prophetically known as Babylon the, the Whore. Or Babylon the Great. Now, this is Revelation, the 18th chapter, you know, just to further prove that these instruments all right, were created for uh, uh, prophecy's sake. All right, because we read that it can, depending on where the target is, it can take from 25 to 35 minutes. And that's less than one hour. Okay, that's less than one hour. This is the book of uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, beginning at verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And that's speaking about this country, all right, which is uh, presently known as America. All right, how much she have glorified herself. I right, lived in luxury. I right, lived in sp splendor. I right, great wealth, all right, which was gotten by fraud, you know, in, in rape, robbery, and murder. It says so much tor torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, all right, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, Death and mourning and famine, she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is Yahweh power that judge of her. And I don't have to break that down. That's quite clear. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall be well hurt and lament for her or when they see the smoke of her torment. Uh, so like when they see. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. So all of these nations that traded with this country by way of sea are right, these merchants all right, whose goods were shipped here to be sold all right, and became all right, extremely wealthy. All right, you have a lot of companies that do commerce all right, with America all right, in which they, they send you know, items over here in bulk all right, on container ships. And these container ships, you know, come to this place, you know, they they dock, you know, within the port. All right. And they unload their wealth and it's shipped to, you know, different uh, um, companies to be sold. You know, uh, big stores, you know, such as Walmart, you know, such as uh, BJ, such as Costco. All right, Sam's Club, all right, Kroger, you know, different grocery stores, you know, uh, Menards, 
you know, uh, 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 Cabela's, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods, you know, all of these different stores, you know, that get bulk items. You know, a lot of these items come from different countries. So the time is going to come when these countries are no longer going to be able to trade with this place by way of sea because it's going to be destroyed according to biblical prophecy. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is her judge is thy judgment come so in one hour let's go back to google again uh the question the original question how long will it take for a nuclear icbm for russia to hit the u.s depending on the part targeted 25 to 35 minutes all right <laughs> 25 to 35 minutes now, uh, Russia recently tested in another ICBM missile on uh, April 12th, which was uh, last Friday. All right, today happens to be all right, uh, April the 17th. So last Friday, you know, approximately five days ago, all right, Russia says it conducted a successful intercontinental ballistic missile test. Moscow, April 12th, uh, and this is from Reuters, Russia Defense Ministry uh, said on Friday it had conducted a successful test of an intercontinental ballistic missile at the uh, Kapusin Yar rocket launch complex in the uh, southern uh, Astrakhan region. In which um, it was through the Holy Spirit that led me to an article. And the title of the article was Vladimir Putin sparks WW3 fears with new missile that can avoid NATO detection. You know, and that got me um, hype and excited. <laughs> you know, once I uh, read that that title. It says Russia announced just days ago it has successfully carried out the test launch of the intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, the missile tested by Russia last week has been tipped to be a new version of a nuclear capable, capable intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM. And just when you thought... <laughs> that basically they reached the pinnacle of that technology, all right? Because I believe they, uh, the one before this was a, was a Sarmat, you know, two or, or uh, an upgrade to one that they previously had. Well, they just came out with another one. And the scary thing, you know, to uh, nations is that, that are enemies, all right, to Russia is the fact that, <laughs> They never mentioned the name of it. You know, they didn't come out and say the name of it. Now, um, I'm going to read a little bit more of this article. It says the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed on April 12th to have successfully conducted a test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile at the Kap Kapustin Yar rocket launch complex in Astrakhan Oblast, southern Russia. The statement alleged the move was part of a state testing of prospective missile systems, as well as confirmation of the stability of the missile in service. The test launch achieved its result in full and confirmed high reliability of Russia's missiles to ensure, in, ensure strategic security, the statement claimed. Russia, which regularly carries out test launches of ICBMs and other missiles, didn't name the type of missile it tested, allowing for speculation to run wild. So you, you can just imagine, all right, because uh, when it comes down to the West, they don't have this kind of technology. 
And the reason they don't have this kind of technology, all right, that's on the same level as Russia is because all of this is done through biblical prophecy. All right. Russia is going to help to end all right, uh, uh, this beast system according to biblical prophecy. And after they have done that, they, they themselves are going to be taken down according to biblical prophecy. Among those who took part of the conversation was Russian propagandist and military commander Colonel Victor uh, Bernetz, who joked all NATO intelligence services are on their toes following this test. <laughs> uh, writing in the pro-Kremlin news outlet, Komsomol Moskaya Pravda, the columnist mused over reports that uh, missiles waltzed in the sky, leaving bizarre smoke trails behind them. And that's biblical prophecy as well. All right, you can go into the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter, all right, uh, in order to go into that prophecy. All right, it, it mentions that it that it looks like uh, uh, serpents. Revelation 9 and 14, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of man. And the number of the horses are right, with 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. And when you add 200,000 thousand up, it becomes 200 million. All right, in which there's 200 million all right, nuclear warheads that will be used to destroy this great whore. And thus I saw the horse, horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and, and of Jason and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouth issued fire, smoke and brimstone, which there's no beast that's going to come up, you know, blowing smoke <laughs> out of his uh, mouth or right, having a, a, a heads like lions all right, and having a, a breastplates of fire and adjacent. You know, this is just symbolism all right, to describe what is known today as the ICBM missiles, all right, which when they're shot up into the heavens and they're coming back down, all right, they, they kind of burn you know, entering into the atmosphere. When they turn hot, it turns the color of jacinth. Okay. And the heads of lions are used for devouring and destroying. So when those missiles hit, they devour and they destroy, you know, with fire and smoke and brimstone. And these, by these three with the third part of man killed and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth, all right, because the, the, the warheads that are inside of the ICB and missiles are used to destroy. It says, and in their tails, for their tails were like, like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. All right, and what did this article say? It says, the colonists muse over reports that missiles waltz in the sky, leaving bizarre smoke trails behind them because those those smoke trails, you know, from the jet, the rocket jets on the ICBM missiles that propels it to where it's going. It looks like a serpent, you know, the way that it, it, it coils. So reading on, it says um, Colonel Bar uh, Baronets said many experts who have visioned clips of the launch believe the missile to be a new mobile version of the Yars ICBM. Existing Yars need to be loaded into a silo to be launched, which could be targeted by enemies, the commentator noted. In his comment piece, he suggested defense systems of Russia Russia's enemies could struggle to detect the weapon. And he said, try to detect a well camouflage and also running launcher. 
address reports of the strange uh, porets performed in the sky by the missile, the military commentator said a missile detection system will be brain damaged if it tried to understand the flight logic of such a missile and calculate its trajectory. Colonel Baronet added a similar system will be able to replace the existing Topel M complex. Uh, the RS-24 Yars, also known as the Topel MR, is a missile system able to carry multiple independently tar targetable re-entry vehicles, enable enabling it to deliver several nuclear warheads to different targets. It was, it was first tested in 2007 and deployed operational in 2010. You know, now the article continues to go on and on, but that validated, you know, what was recently said concerning the 200 million are nuclear warheads because these ICBM missiles carry multiple warheads. So I'm going to go ahead and, and end here in the book of um, Isaiah, the 13th chapter. And beginning at verse three, I've commanded my sanctified ones. I've also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. All right. In which when this great conflict starts in the earth. All right. Even the angels are going to come down and uh, get busy all right, and fight the noise of a multitude in the mountain like as a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts must have the host of the battle. And notice it says like as a great people. All right, because these ICBM missiles are like an army. All right, of, of mighty men. All right, Joel, the second chapter. They came from a far country. From one end of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So from one end of the heaven into the other, you know, from, you know, Russia to the great whore. All right. It's from one end of the heaven into the other. All right. And the heavenly father will be amongst this destruction when it happens. All right. Adding even more heat. All right, to this fire, his spirit is going to be amongst that destruction. All right, when it happens. All right, and notice it says that these ICBM missiles are able to change trajectory. They're able to fly undetected. And they're also able to, you know, uh, uh, be programmed to hit different targets. All right, these re-entry vehicles, as they call them. All right, so these were designed for biblical prophecy, all right, in that prophecy of the destruction of the great whore, which is, all right, uh, America, all right, and for the destruction of everyone that receives the MOTB, which is the RFID CHIP and the brain CHIP. So with that, I do say Shalom.